Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be Summer Barbecue Recipes and Ideas. So it is still summer, guys. I know, I'm holding on to it for dear life. I'm holding on to summer, I don't want it to go away. And I know that there's lots of barbecues and stuff that you might be invited to and you're like, what do I bring? What do I eat? Well, hopefully this video is helpful to you guys. I'm gonna show you some ideas and recipes to help you get through those summer barbecues and potentially share some really delicious meals with your non-vegan friends. So I'm gonna show you guys three different recipes in this video, so hopefully you find them helpful. This video is also very kindly sponsored by Care Of, so I'll be talking about them a little bit later on in the video, but first, let's get on to recipe number one. The first recipe is gonna be really simple, guys. I'm gonna make some tempeh and veggie skewers. So I'm taking one package of plain tempeh and I'm gonna cut it up into little cubes. I think this is my first time actually making tempeh from scratch. I mean, I'm not actually making the tempeh, but you know what I mean. And um, I love tempeh. Anyways, let's also prepare any veggies you wanna add into your skewers. I'm going to be using red onion, some bell pepper, and remember to cut it into large chunks. We're also doing mushrooms and zucchini, of course. Now we're gonna steam the tempeh for around 15 minutes. This will allow the flavors to really soak into the tempeh, making it super delicious. And while that's steaming, you can prepare your marinade. For the marinade, I use two tablespoons of soy sauce. You can also use a gluten-free alternative if you'd like. And next, we're doing two tablespoons of maple syrup, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of liquid smoke, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder. And let's mix this up, and that's our marinade. It's super simple. And once the tempeh has steamed, I placed the pieces in a wide container and I simply poured that marinade on top. Now mix this around a little bit, let it sit for at least half an hour to an hour. If you can let this sit for like a few hours or overnight, that's even better. I flipped them over a few times while they were marinating just to make sure that we're getting all of that flavor. Then it's simple, just prepare the skewers and you can arrange them however way you want. I actually didn't have any proper barbecue skewer stick things, so I just used wooden chopsticks, which I don't recommend because the barbecue burnt a few of the ends off. Maybe my fire was too strong, I don't know. Okay, I guess a vegan never thought I would need like a skewer stick for a barbecue, but I guess I was wrong, okay? And fun fact, this is the first time I actually ever tried to operate a barbecue grill. I've been going to barbecues and I've flipped a burger or two, but this is my first time actually like turning on the barbecue and was responsible for the whole thing. So yeah, my first time operating a barbecue grill, I was a vegan. Alright you guys, so as I mentioned earlier, this video is very kindly sponsored by Care Of. And if you haven't heard of Care Of, they are a wellness company that specializes in providing you with the best quality vitamins and supplements that your body needs for health and wellness and whatever goals you might have. So I've been taking Care Of for a while now and one of the things I love about Care Of is that they make taking vitamins so easy and just effortless. So basically all you have to do is go on their website and take a very quick quiz. It takes about five minutes and it just kind of goes through your lifestyle, your health goals, your fitness goals, and just ask you a few simple questions. And then at the end, they'll give you some suggestions on what you might want to add into your daily pack. So then you can pick and choose whatever you want to add, and then that's going to be in your daily pack. And then what they do is they send you one of these beautiful little boxes every single month, and that is your monthly supply of vitamins. And it's so easy, you guys. All you have to do is take one of these things out, and then just take this every day, and that is your daily vitamin supply. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to take out a bunch of little jars of vitamins. All you have to do is just take your daily pack and that's it. So simple and so easy. And especially if you like traveling, this is so convenient for travelers. You just take a few of these when you're traveling. It's just easy, okay? So another thing I love about Care Of is that they're really transparent about their products, where they source their products. You can find out all about their sourcing, their quality and the research behind their products on their website as well. And for those of you that are wondering, these are compostable, yes. So you can find out the details on how to compost right here, but it's super simple. I just throw them in my compost. It's so easy. So in my personalized daily pack, I have veggie omega for my heart health. I have cranberry for my urinary tract health, ginseng for energy and focus, vitamin D for my bones and immune health, vitamin B12, of course, because I'm vegan and every vegan should take vitamin B12 and a probiotic blend for my gut. 
And also they have other awesome products as well that I just thought I would mention. They also have some vegan protein powders. They've got vanilla, they've got chocolate, and I think they might have an unflavored version. I'm not positive, but um, I really like their protein powders as well. I use them all the time. So if you guys want to check out Care Of, there is a link down below, of course, and a discount code, you guys. You can use this code right here to get 50% off your first order. Once again, the discount code is right here, and it is 50% off your first order. Link is down below. Go take that five-minute quiz and check out Care Of. Thank you so much to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. And now let's move on to more summer barbecue recipes. My second recipe is going to be a macaroni salad. So we're gonna start by boiling one cup of cashews to make a cashew mayo. If you wanna just use store-bought vegan mayo, you can just skip this step. And while that's boiling for around 15 to 20 minutes, I'm gonna prepare the veggies. Let's start with two carrots. I'm gonna throw them into a food processor to easily grate them. Then let's prepare two to three celery stalks and half a red onion. You can dice everything yourself or you can do what I'm doing and just throw everything into a food processor. After grating the carrots, I just set that aside in a bowl and then I added the celery and red onion into the food processor to chop those as well. And it only takes a few pulses and there you have it. Let's put that in the same bowl. At this point, you can boil the macaroni as well. You can use whatever pasta of choice, really, but I feel like macaroni just hits different, you know? You just need that macaroni. Anyways, if you're making the cashew mayo, once the cashews are softened, you can drain the water and then add them into a blender, along with two tablespoons of rice vinegar or apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of Dijon or yellow mustard, half a cup of non-dairy milk, half a tablespoon or two cloves of minced garlic, and half a teaspoon of salt. Now blend this on high for about a minute until it becomes nice and smooth and creamy me. And when the macaroni is done cooking, drain and rinse in cold water and then add in the veggies and around one cup of the cashew mayo or you can use your own mayo. I also added in two to three dill pickles diced. You can dice them by hand or again use the food processor. I just forgot to. And I'm also going to add in one cup of green peas and we're going to mix this well. And if I were to use store-bought mayo, I might also add in some Dijon mustard or something into this mix. I feel like that would be really good. So yeah, all you have to do is mix this well and then you can simply plate it, add some green onion or anything else on top. Give it a little taste. Maybe you want to add some salt and pepper and enjoy. This kind of reminds me of like a KFC macaroni salad or something. Yeah, it's really good. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy it. Bring it to your next barbecue or even your next potluck, whatever it is, or just make it for lunch one day and let me know what you think. All right, last but definitely not least, of course, I had to make some grillable burgers for you guys since this is a barbecue recipe video. So first step, I'm going to make a flax egg mixture by adding in one tablespoon of ground flax seeds into a small bowl or a cup and then adding in two tablespoons of water. We're going to mix that well and set that aside to thicken for at least 10 minutes while we prepare everything else. Now I'm gonna take a pan and I'm gonna lightly toast half a cup of walnuts on the pan just for a couple of minutes and then place them into a food processor to chop them up and then you can put that in a large mixing bowl. Now I'm gonna grind up some oats. I'm gonna make some oat flour by simply adding in half a cup of rolled oats into a food processor again and then just processing it for a little bit. It doesn't have to be super finely processed. It doesn't have to be like a real flour flour, but um, yeah, you just wanna process it a bit and then you're gonna set that aside. Then again, in the food processor, let's add in one can of black beans. And the trick here is to pulse it just two to three times, not too much so that it is just lightly mashed and not too mashed, okay? And now we can put everything into that large mixing bowl, starting with that veggie mixture and of course our lightly mashed beans. Then we have some spices. I've got half a tablespoon of paprika and one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. We're also gonna add in two tablespoons of barbecue sauce and half a tablespoon of liquid smoke. This part is optional. It's just gonna add some nice spokiness into your burger, but if you can't find it, that's totally fine. And we're also gonna add in one tablespoon of soy sauce. And now let's finally add in our ground up oats and our flax egg mixture that we made in the beginning, which will work as our binder. And now you can shape these into nice little burgers. I took half a cup measurements for each patty and uh, feel free to make them smaller or bigger. It's up to you. And I wrapped them up to put into the fridge for a little bit just to bind them a little bit more, just to make sure they were really firm. And you can also freeze these and eat them later as well, which is great. And then when you're ready to cook them, I just grease the barbecue a little bit and then I just pop these on. And um, I actually redid this recipe because the first time I used chickpeas and I did things slightly differently. 
and I think I blended the beans a little too much and the burgers were just a little too mushy for the barbecue. It still worked, but I really wanted to redo the recipe to make these really grillable. And I'm really happy with how these burgers turned out because they were really a lot firmer and they taste really good and they grilled really well. And now we can just assemble the burger. Obviously you can do whatever you want, put whatever you want into the burger. I decided to add my usual ketchup and mustard, and of course some greens, the patty, some avocado, roasted peppers, and I even put some of that macaroni salad in the burger as well. Oh my gosh, okay. Top that with sweet relish, and I mean, does this burger not look epic? Uh-huh, it was actually so tasty. I enjoyed all this food actually in a recent mukbang video. So if you guys wanna eat some deliciousness with me, then I'll link that video down below. And yeah, that's how you make grillable veggie burgers. All right, you guys, so that is it for my summer barbecue recipes slash ideas video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys need any of the recipes in written form, they are, of course, in a blog post linked down below, as always. I'll also link some other summer-friendly recipes in the description box as well for those of you that are interested. Once again, thank you so much to Kara for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out, you guys. Once again, it is 50% off your first order using my code here and the link is down below for you to take that quiz and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye